It's a new frontier in medicine. For the first time ever, students will get medical training with holographic patients, according to Cambridge University Hospital. So here's how it works. Medical staff and students wearing holographic headsets are all able to see the same environment, and the patient on the bed is not real. <laughs> But it's not quite virtual reality, which totally replaces user surroundings with virtual elements. This device adds virtual elements to a real environment. It's called mixed reality. Other students would also be able to join through an app on their phones. Simulation allows us to do is to have our students uh, fail in a safe environment and to feel safe to fail. Um, of course, uh, that's not something we want to do with real patients. And so the simulation environment allows the students to um, take those next steps in their learning um, where they have an increasingly real environment around them um, to practice the skills and techniques that they'll need when they come to meet real patients. The device is being developed at Cambridge University Hospitals alongside Los Angeles-based tech company GigXR. This tech is also projected to be more accessible for hospitals and universities that cannot afford physical high-fidelity simulators, which look like mannequins. For now, a single module is available. It focuses on respiratory conditions. Students can use a stethoscope, read a patient monitor, and wear oxygen masks, among other things. The holographic patient shows symptoms of asthma, followed by anaphylaxis, pulmonary embolism, and pneumonia. In the long run, more modules will be developed with increasing levels of difficulty, from view-only mode to assisted decision mode, with hints to expert mode. More features will be coming in later versions, the first of which expected to be released later on this year. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.